While we sleep, the natural world is doing some pretty incredible things. Many plants come to life at night and put on a show for the senses. They call her Dirt Queen NYC. Harma Asovsky tells us all about moon gardening. Okay, I want to know all about moon gardening. What is it and how did you get interested in that? Well, I would say it started with my childhood. Um, growing up, I celebrated a couple of lunar holidays with my family, um, namely the Mid-Autumn Festival and the Lunar New Year. Um, I also spent a lot of time with my mom um, gardening in her garden uh, growing up. And I just felt like the moon was a really strong presence in my life. Um, and so when the publisher actually reached out to me with this idea, um, I was so excited to dive into the world of moon gardening and um, to be able to share that magic with all of you. You know, plants can be pretty magical, but here's my question. While the world sleeps, plants actually do pretty incredible things at night. Can you share? Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, first, let me start by saying that there are diurnal plants and nocturnal plants. Um, diurnal plants open their flowers during the day and nocturnal plants open their flowers at night. Um, and it's a pretty magical thing to witness a night blooming flower open up to the moon. Um, and that's what I focus on in my book, Moon Garden. Uh -huh. um, and we talk not only about night blooming plants, but also night fragrant plants. Um, and the purpose of them opening up in the evening hours is that they attract nocturnal pollinators um, like moths and bats, and they mm -hmm. release sweet scents and also muskier scents actually, which bats really enjoy. That again, it's so fascinating. Now. What are some benefits to having a moon garden? There are a lot of benefits to having a moon garden. The first one is simply, it's a place that you can decompress after a long day of work. Um, you can unplug your phone, um, grab a drink and just go outside and look up at the stars. Um, but you can also use it as a place to host parties. Um, you can entertain, you can throw a full moon party. Um, it's just a great place to gather people and celebrate different life events. And finally, you can actually just garden in your garden at night, um, escape the summer sun heat and just enjoy getting your hands in the dirt um, in the cooler weather. Absolutely, and I'm totally a night person, so I, I can see that happening at night. Now, if we wanted to start our own moon garden, how do we start? What's your advice? Well, honestly, it's as simple as just incorporating a few new plants into your garden that have either white flowers or silver foliage. You wanna stick with this sort of color palette because these lighter hues reflect more moonlight at night and even plants with variegated foliage, um, like two-tone foliage, is really great and, and more light reflective. Um, then you'll also want to think about fragrance. So choose plants whose fragrance you love and that you can imagine wanting to, you know, be in your garden as you spend time there in the evening. Finally, location is important. So if you're outdoors, try to find a place where you have a clear view of the sky, um, where you could stargaze. And indoors, pick a place near the window where both sunlight and moonlight can stream in. What would you say is your favorite plant in your moon garden? Well, I have two favorites here that I can share with you today. Um, my moon garden is an indoor moon garden, and this is one of my favorite plants. It's a begonia maculata, and um, it's also known as an angel wing begonia. And it has these beautiful leaves that are the shape of angel wings with silver polka dots and um, it likes indirect bright light. And um, the other favorite is this Syngonium variegata albo, which has really cool variegated foliage in the shape of arrows, uh, arrowheads. So 
those are my two favorites right now, at least. <laughs> that first one you pulled up, that was really pretty. I, I did like that one a lot. Now, if we want to learn more about your book, where can people find a copy? Um, so Moon Garden is available to pre-order now. You can order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, bookshop.org, or wherever books are sold. Uh -huh. um, and it comes out October 3rd. Well, congrats on the book, Yaren. It was so good to talk to you today. You too. Thank you so much. And you can follow Arima Azovsky on social media and pick up the book Moon Garden, A Guide to Creating an Evening Oasis, wherever books are sold.